everybody. I'm Megan Fraser McGrogan, the Executive Director of the Greater Utica Chamber of Commerce. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of the Leveling Up Social Distancing Series. If you're just tuning in, make sure you go back to our website, greateruticachamber.org, and make sure you check out all of our prior episodes. We've done lots of these episodes throughout the pandemic, and the whole goal of this is to make sure that you know what's going on in our community with all of our businesses and organizations. So each episode is about 15, 20 minutes. You can go ahead and subscribe to the show. We would love if you did that. You can subscribe on anywhere you would listen to podcasts. So Apple, Google, uh, Stitcher, Spotify, whatever place you digest your podcast, you can get it there. Or of co course you could watch the show and those episodes are on greateruticachamber.org, also on our Facebook and Instagram pages. So go ahead, give us a like, subscribe, and you can make sure that you're in the know with all of our area businesses and organizations, of course, all chamber members, and we're making sure that you know how you can get in touch and support these businesses because that's the name of the game, right? We want to make sure that all of our area businesses stay open and stay doing well. And speaking of doing well, today's guest is here with me, Bill Waskowitz from Chester's Flowers. And Bill, it is so nice to have you here. Chester's being a very long time uh, loved business in our area. And we're so excited to hear all about how you guys are doing. So welcome to the show. Well, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, um, Bill, you're the owner of Chester's, right? So tell us a little bit about um, the, the background and history of your business and, and what you guys do. Okay. So right now uh, we're third generation business. My grandfather started it back in 1937. His original uh, store was on Cornelia Street and it moved to Columbia and then in 1960 moved up here to York Street. Mm -hmm. My sister Lori Griffiths and I own it now and uh, pretty much all of our relatives and friends and family have worked here over the years, at least for one time or another. <laughs> uh, it, it's a it's a good, strong family business, and uh, and yeah, been here since nineteen, been going since nineteen thirty seven. So that's so awesome. And um, we talk about often with, especially with family owned businesses, how awesome it is, you know, to see them a lot, don't even make it past, you know, the first, gen first generation, let alone second and third generations. And so it's always so important, I think, for us to highlight that uh, our locally owned businesses who just have such staying power and, and by being around, you understand the business community and, and how very important it is to support local, right? Oh, I've been preaching local for years and years and years and uh, we know our local businesses we don't have to you know, don't have to say where not to go but you, you know your local businesses your restaurants and we want to try to keep them in business so for me it's been a it's been like a, a religion I mean uh, if I can support local at any time I do mm -hmm. and, you know we appreciate it of course our, our customer base is showing us now that they value our business that's that's for sure and we really appreciate it you know we have a full service flower shop where where flowers and plants are our main business um flowers sending flowers for any occasion birthdays anniversaries get wells those kinds of things is regular standard business for us and we also do some events mm -hmm. weddings things that have been canceled for the past six months you know yeah. <laughs> And our plant business has been very strong, especially now, especially now too. And our, we have, we're kind of a little bit different. Um, a value that we do have is we have greenhouses here on York Street, so mm -hmm. people can not just call the shop, but they can come in, take a tour through the greenhouses, walk around, enjoy the, enjoy the environment in there. So the plants in there are open all year with house plants. It's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it is very beautiful. Um, so you guys did my wedding, by the way, um, and did a beautiful job with that. And if you go back and look at my customer record, one of my favorite things to do is send plants to people. You know, when when uh, someone loses a loved one, I just think that that's such a nice thing to send a plant and something that, you know, people might be thinking now, you know, what could I do nice for someone if you can't see someone or uh, maybe get together and celebrate those things that we're used to celebrating. And so what a great thing to do is send a plant, right? Yeah, that's a great point. Uh, it's stressful as this past six months, I think it's about six months, I don't know, but it has <laughs> been, it was stressful in our business because we, a lot of our business is seasonal. So we're looking at Easter, Mother's Day, Memorial Day, and we're thinking now in March, we're like, oh my gosh, we, we might be closed. Mm -hmm. Which So for a business, uh, for a small retailer like us, 
those are two of our biggest months of this year. Mm -hmm. And then, so you go from like that stress to finally getting reopened and, and then people really appreciate the value of sending, like you just said, sometimes you're not visiting people, you're, you're not even visiting nursing homes or hospitals like you, like you could be. Mm -hmm. and, and so as it got started where we could send flowers and plants around and people were accepting them, um, the value of that became really important. Mm -hmm. So we're really touching people's emotions. Uh, it's, it's an easy way to do it, a call or a, a web order to, to, a, mm -hmm. to a florist, especially us, um, <laughs> get that message out. And then they have a, a, a living, beautiful thing, which really is uh, plants and flowers have been proven to be stress relieving mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and good for the environment and healthy. And, and if you're in your home office where you where you're not used to having worked in the past, but now you're kind of there, bring a little, bring a plant. It's amazing the, the people that are coming in regularly and like plants are becoming like their new family. It's, yeah. That's amazing. And you guys have so many beautiful things there. Um, I actually did one of your classes. I think it was called House Plants 101. So oh. for those watching who who don't know this, uh, Chester's does great classes that you can go to. Um, my mom and my sister-in-law and my mother-in-law and I went. And just so interesting to hear about all the different house plants and how intricate they could be and, you know, taking care of them. And actually my plan I got from that workshop is still going strong. You'd be happy to know <laughs> it is still alive. And I learned some great tips because I am great. I have a green thumb outside, but not so much inside. <laughs> so um, that was really awesome to, to uh, go to and get educated and just so many beautiful things that you can do. Uh, like you said, you know, we're not used to working in this environment. And so they kind of brighten your day, help your air in your house. Right. And like you said, relieve stress and things you don't really think about, but they really, they really do, uh, I think, help your mood. You're a very good spokesman for our industry. Yeah. <laughs> I love, I do love plants, Bill. I do, I do love gardening and love plants. Um, so you just mentioned those workshops we were having. Yes. Of course, we put them on hold when things changed and we're looking at getting back involved, um, hopefully in January. So we're just yeah. kind of getting through this period of time, but we're plant we have four or five of them already planned. We just have to make sure we want to get comfortable having people in, in a group yeah. setting like that. Right Absolutely. now we're open. We've, um, people are, are required to wear masks when they come in and we're kind of maintaining distance. Our staff all wears masks. Mm -hmm. We don't, it's not the kind of an operation where there's hundreds of people in here at any one time. So uh, people are, you know, if, if someone's milling through the greenhouses, there's not too many other people in there with them. So it works out good. It's a, it's a good environment for that, but to re, to uh, invite a whole bunch of people at one time in a small environment, we're just kind of waiting for that for now. And yeah, uh, hopefully in January, by that time we'll get back into those. Yeah, and absolutely. We'll have them posted on our social media and uh, for people to pay attention and keep keep ahead of it. Yeah, definitely. And and like you said, very relaxing. You guys, have, I think you even have some water fountains in there. So great place to just stop it and shop at. Um, and speaking of shopping, you know, the holidays are coming up and I know you guys do a gorgeous, uh, poinsettia sale every year and also another great time of year to spruce up your home a little bit. So tell us what uh, folks can expect from you guys coming up and, and maybe what they might visit you for to support you. Well, we're going, we're, we're going to go into the holiday season as we always have. We've called, uh, a number of our organizations, uh, normally decorate and they're still planning to decorate which is kind of a good thing so we grow some of our own poinsettias we we buy in a bunch of what we call pre-finished so they're already in the greenhouses since like the end of september and they're looking really good and then we even buy some in finished at the at the very end because uh, mm -hmm. we can't possibly grow all the ones we sell but so poinsettias in there there'll be other flowering plants the seed the holiday business the seasonal business is very big for us with the flowering plants um the greenhouses look great. There's a lot of color. We also have giftware and home decor and things that people can spruce up their house with. And we think it's probably going to be pretty, pretty steady based on what's been going on the past couple of months. Mm -hmm. The flower and plant business has been really good. I, I mean, better than ever, which was so surprising and we're so thankful for it. 
again, it was it was a challenging spring. So for a small business like us, and I know there's businesses out there that are really having trouble figuring it out. We don't have to, I mean, restaurants and bars and things where it's really hard to manage gatherings, events, weddings, and you know, school graduations, and all those kinds of things that were canceled. And they're still not in the clear. Uh, it's it's not great for some of these businesses. So we have to pay attention to where they're headed and see if we can support them when the time comes, you know? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah definitely. And our, our, uh, just, I, I hate to interrupt you, but oh, no, I, no. I wanted to make a note that our, we have a, a fellow, Matt, we have two great people working in our greenhouses. Mm -hmm. And I do want to, I want to thank our staff for a minute because when this all happened, we had a shut down for a while. But in our business, it's it's not the kind of business you can work from home. I mean, we're either closed, but even if we're closed, we have greenhouses. So we're, you know, we're um, we had had our people that work in the greenhouses, Matt and Danielle. They just kept coming in. Mm -hmm. We separated them for a while, but then it got as it got closer to to heavy to, to the later spring. We we needed more. They just they just worked right through. Um, even though we weren't open and kept the plants going, which was a real blessing. And all the, our, the other staff that we called on when we needed them, um, just to come in just part time, a couple of days here and there, everyone was so willing to help us out, which was, we couldn't have done it without them. It was great mm -hmm. uh, to have that. And then once we got open, our customers started, I mean, they were really, Mother's Day, we, we weren't even, our doors weren't even open. And uh, yeah. the front door, we didn't have any fresh flowers, but we were selling plants and delivering them. And that's people right. supported us. It was, it was really good. And that's why we're still able to keep going now, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. so we're looking at the holidays thinking it's going to be good. People are going to be sending gifts, they're going to be decorating. And uh, we're going to, we're going to have people here working and hope for the best that way, you know? Great, great. And I, you know, your staff is great there and, and very knowledgeable too. So if you guys need to go in and ask questions or, you know, maybe you're looking for a particular uh, plant or offering, I know that they've always been very helpful too. Um, so all great things, Bill. Is there anything else that you want to talk about before we let everybody know how they can get in touch with you guys? Um, I, I started to allude to Matt and our greenhouses. So um, partly the way they can get in touch with us is uh, to follow us on social media. Yes. We really realized the value of social media in the past few months uh, uh, when people are paying attention to what we're doing and we're trying to make some regular posts. And Matt and our greenhouses has kind of stepped up to the occasion. He's making these little short videos, like yeah. a minute or two, and just kind of going over some plants. We've even done a Facebook Live Q&A, and we're going to do another one coming up in November. Where Great post their questions and um, Matt's created quite a following and we've noticed people coming in from, I mean, people that have never been here before are coming in and it's just like, wow, they're coming in like once a week now and just hanging That's out. That's great. Yeah. You know, so, so, so keeping an eye on our social media to find us on Instagram or Facebook is like um, really easy. We love to, we love to communicate with people that way. Yep. And then our website is, is available. You can order right online or you can look at what's available online and give us a call. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, phone numbers, you can look up our phone number easy, 315-797-2360, give okay. us a call, we're, we're ready. Being in the perishable business and the emotional business, sometimes it's good to talk to somebody, you mm -hmm. know, on that occasion. So we encourage people to call us mm -hmm. and uh, it's, it's, then you're communicating really one-on-one -on -one to get that, you want to make sure that emotional package is, is right, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Bill, uh, it's been so nice talking with you and catching up with you guys. It's so great to hear that you're doing well. I know it was a really tough time for you guys, as you alluded to in the spring. Um, so everybody watching, make sure you go on and check out everything Chester's has to offer. Again, social media sites are great. Personally, I can say they, they do a fantastic job with all of their things at the greenhouse there. Um, and I really hope you guys go check it out. And beautiful stuff, as Bill said, for the holidays too, whether it's a living plant or maybe just some decor, right? Wreaths and, um, you know, artificial arrangements and things like that too. I can't beat you. You're, you're the best. <laughs> well, and again, we appreciate the support of the chamber, Megan. Um, the chamber is very, very valuable in our community uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, for, for many reasons. And, and, here, and here you are giving us the opportunity to, 
promote our little local business. I, we really appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you, Bell. And uh, we hope that you have a great holiday season and we hope to see you in person at some time soon. <laughs> um, so best of luck to you. All right. Thanks. Have a good day. You too, Megan. Thanks.